In this part of the lesson, we're going to look at how we can combine multiple logical tests using the OR operator. Let's start by opening up the file that I've already downloaded and extracted. And then if we need to, we can click the enable content button to allow the code in the file to run. This is a sort of slightly simplified version of a file that we've already seen once in this module. It allows you to add details of a film that you've watched. And this time, rather than writing a, a review, you can provide a score out of 10 and then clicking the add to list button will transfer the details from column B into the next blank row starting in column D. The problem, of course, as before, is that if we omit any of the details, so for example, if I missed out the film title and then click the Add to List button, we end up with a partially complete record in the list. And I want to prevent that from happening. And we're going to use an if statement to make sure that's the case. Let's begin by writing a simple if statement that checks if cell B2 is empty, will present an error message in cell A5. So let's head into the developer tab and then the visual basic editor. We can see the code that's already been written to transfer the details into the appropriate cells. So let's begin a new block if at the beginning of this subroutine. So I'd like to check if range b2.value is equal to an empty string, then I'm going to change the contents of cell a5 so that it shows me an error message, just a generic one. It's going to say missing value. And then I shall exit from the subroutine with an exit sub statement. And of course, because this is a block if, I'll need to write end if as well. Now we can check that this works simply by returning to Excel and then making sure that cell B2 is empty, clicking the add to list button. And we should find that rather than just adding the incomplete record to the list, it showed me that there's a missing value in my details. So that's great. We still need to do something similar then to check for the date watched and score out of 10. If we miss any of these values out, I'd also like to prevent the details being added to the list. One approach to that is writing a separate if statement for each individual value that we're testing for. But there might be a slightly better, more elegant approach to this. I want to prevent a film being added to the list if this cell is blank, or if this cell is blank, or if this cell is blank. And we can combine those three conditions into a single statement using the OR operator. So let's switch back to the Visual Basic Editor and then look at how we can extend this if statement to handle multiple conditions. To add another condition to the same if statement, I need to insert a keyword between the end of the first logical test and the then keyword. And this time I'm going to add the OR operator. After the OR operator, I can write another logical test. It's going to take the pretty much exact same form as the first one. So this time I'm going to check if the value of range B3 is an empty string. If I simply move the cursor to another line now, if either this logical test or this logical test returns true, the entire statement will return true and thus will enter the block if and execute these two statements. While I'm here, it might be worthwhile adding the instruction that clears the contents of our error message cell, range A5. So I'm going to say range A5 dot clear contents, just so we can clear up the error message when we add a valid film. OK, let's head back to the Excel window and give this a quick test. So I should find now that if I were to add a value to cell B2, but omit one from cell B3, if I click the Add to List button, the details still don't get added to the list. If I omit both values, of course, it still won't get added to the list. But if I were to add in both cells or values to both cells, and I'll just add the same details, it doesn't really matter for the sake of demonstration. If I click the Add to List button now, when both of these are filled in, the new film will be added to the list and the cell A5 error message cell will be cleared. Now we still have one more condition to add to our if statement. That's to check that cell B4 isn't empty. So if I go back to the Visual Basic Editor, we'll find that the more conditions we add to the same if statement, the longer and longer this line becomes, of course. So what you might prefer to do, rather than just continuing writing the same instruction across a very, very long line, we can break this line into multiple component parts using the line separator, the space underscore. So after the, after the first logical test, I think, I will give myself a space followed by an underscore, and then I can hit enter and take that part of the logical test down to the next line. 
I can do the same thing again then. After the second logical test, I can type in a space and an underscore and then add another condition using or. And this time I'll check if range B4 dot value is empty. Okay, so three separate logical tests. If I spelt range correctly, that would also help. Let me just quickly correct that. Apologies. There we go. So three separate logical tests forming one complete statement. So if any of these three are true, we will be prevented from adding this incomplete record to the list. You can feel free to go back to Excel and check that that's true. So if you were to omit any of the three values or any combination of the three values, in fact, if you click the Add to List button, you'll be prevented from adding the details to the list. And at this point, you're welcome to either continue with the extra practice session for this part of the lesson, which talks you about combining multiple conditions again using the OR operator, or you can simply move on to the next part of the lesson, which talks about how to combine conditions using the AND operator.